Alright, making a video response to Feather A. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. What the hell. Anyway, he mentioned my name in the damn video. Right? So, yeah, I went to his channel. He hasn't made a video in a while. I mean, there was like three videos there. And one of them is this feminism nonsense, right? Because he's always, he's always been uh, one of these misogynists, whatever, these WPO guys or something. Whatever they are. These male... It was male's rights advocates. Yeah. But he calls it egalitarianism or something. <laughs> yeah, which means just men's is supposed to be men's and women's is supposed to be sh in the kitchen and shut up and be pregnant and such. In their bare feet and whatnot. Um, it just, yeah, it's the same old bullshit. So anyway, it's it's all about some video. He, he didn't post a link to the video, right? So there's no nothing in the description. So he wants people to defend a video he doesn't post a link to. I guess I could get it here. Feminist attack Argentina cardinal. No, cathedral. Okay, so they went to a cathedral. So this is obviously a protest of some kind, right? There's protesters for both sides that are here, apparently. And so he plays this clip and there's a, some guy has blood on him. So I'll show that. Whoa! Now... Whose hands are these? Whose hands are these? This looks like a woman's hands here. It looks like a woman's arms. I don't know. And some guy's talking to him. But he needs somebody else to put their hands on his face. I don't know what that's all about. So anyway, you have all these men protesters. I guess they're all religious kooks. And um, so they're on one side. And all the little crazy bra burning. <laughs> I'm going to wave my breasties in front of the men's. Uh, uh, to protest your women. And so see there, it's all bloody. Somehow he's bloody, so we don't, you know, I don't know how he got bloody. Do you know how he got bloody? So anyway, um, the assumption is that some woman punched him in the face, right? And so I'm supposed to defend that. But what I would argue is, see here you have some more examples. And so there's, there's women with spray paint who are spray painting the men's crotches. So the men are just standing there, it's some sort of protest, but they're just standing there singing some like old Argentinian folk song like, women should be in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant, you know, an Argentinian. And they're all being stoic men. I'm fighting for my male right to own women. And yeah, the women are, you know, I don't know, painting loser on their dicks. I don't know. And, uh, but apparently they had the spray paint, like they walk, women in Argentina apparently walk around with a can of spray paint in their pocket. I don't know. Is that the assumption I'm supposed to have? Or am I, so, uh, or, or am I to assume that this is protest theater? Like a TV show almost. Right, remember the March on Wall Street? <laughs> you know, where they would buy the homeless people pizza, you know, before they'd go protest to Wall Street? Uh, but could you imagine, though, if they had the, the March on Wall Streeters were allowed to actually do this? Like, all the feminoids are here and all the Nazi many are over here. And if they were allowed to interact with each other face-to-face -face like that, can you imagine what would happen? What about, like, clan members and, you know, black nationalists or something? Or, or whatever they'd be called, right? I don't know. Just black advocates. <laughs> you know, whatever. And uh, what are like Jews and Arabs, or uh, like Jew <coughs> Jews and even neo-Nazi-style Christian Americans, even. Yeah, if they were allowed to do this face-to-face -face thing. See, we don't let people do this face-to-face -face crap anymore. We've sort of learned through time that it's kind of a bad idea. That if the two sides of the protest are face-to-face, -face, somebody's going to say something really nasty, and somebody's going to get pissed off, and somebody's going to get hit with a two-by-four. And it's just going to be not pleasant. But so, Feta, the douchebag, is it your fucking argument that any protest about any subject whatsoever wouldn't be just as violent or, or mocking or hostile or ugly as this protest? Is that your argument, that if the two sides are face-to-face, -face, there's not likely to be the same style of interaction? You're, are you suggesting to me that the protesters against Wall Street wouldn't have their little can of spray paint. They might be, you know, spray painting on the rich people. Um, something about compensation, you know, like they're 
your your car is compensation for your lack of a dick or some other kind of rhetoric that they're not going to insult each other and do other things to you know and that the rich people just be mocking the poor people going ha ha you live on a cardboard box na 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 loser 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 you are a loser you didn't inherit money ha 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 come on is that your argument oh apparently it is your argument because you're an idiot but anyway, so he's apparently anti-abortion, which makes him a right. He's probably reverted to his Catholic origins, his religious. He was a religious kook, you know, before he became an atheist. So maybe he's going back to that. Why exactly would be anti-abortion? You're pro-fetus, but you can't quite figure out that the yeah, animal should have rights. Hmm, that's interesting. So it's okay to torture, say, a chimpanzee in a medical laboratory, but it's not okay to kill a fetus. Hmm. Hmm. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's just nonsense. It's absolute rubbish. So what else does Sin Mindham have to say about this subject? Yes, I am a feminist. Yes, women should have rights when it comes to abortion because women get pregnant. If men got pregnant, I'd say men should have all the rights concerning abortion because they're the ones that gotta carry the little fucking parasite. So when you decide that you're gonna carry the parasite, then I'll give you rights to make decisions about abortion. How about that? Won't that be special? Hmm? But till then, fuck you, asshole. You know, he, he complains about like rights, abortion rights. And what he wants is like the right not to t take responsibility for the kid. You have that right. I mean, right now, women can go to sperm banks, right? And they can get artificially inseminated. And the male has no responsibility whatsoever. He doesn't have to take care of financial care for the, the, the fetus or the kid because they sign a contract. So that's all you have to do. If you want rights in your sexual relationships regarding how a woman will deal with her pregnancy... If you want rights, well, then you have to make a contract. You see? It's not complicated. So just make a contract before you have sex with the women you have sex with, explaining that you're not going to take any responsibility for an accidental pregnancy. And that you're just going to want to expect that you have a right to skip town. Or an unintended pregnancy of some kind. And, and so just articulate that and see if the woman wants to agree to that. Okay, it's not that complicated. If you have a signed contract notarized beforehand, okay, you will have rights. So you have plenty of rights. You just want the right to say, in hindsight, I want to say she said it. And I want you to listen to me, and I don't want you to listen to that lying bitch. That's all you want. You want the right to say, she's a lying bitch. She, she told me she was on the pill. You want the right to call her a liar, and you want to be believed. And that's all you want. And that's bullshit. That's not egalitarian rights. You have egalitarian rights right now. Just get a contract, fuckhead. Not complicated. Right? You can write it up yourself. You just have to get it notarized. That's all. You just have to have a proper witness. Get it notarized. Uh, and you'll have a, a contract. And as soon as she viol tries to get you for hold you responsible financially, you just show the judge the contract and you'll be exempted. Not complicated, fuckhead. So anyway, fuck you, loser. <laughs> You're an asshole. Well, let me play the end of his video just so you know asshole is appropriate. Guilt here. What a pompous ass. I know you and the are against it, but... Uh, uh, I'm using guilt. Well, what you, how, how is it? You're not even using guilt. You're abusing guilt. You're showing me a man with a bloody face and showing me no explanation for how his face got bloody at all. You're not telling me what he said. You're not telling me what happened between him and the women. You're just saying somehow some woman flung her brassiere at him and bloodied his eye. Or something. And he's got other creepoids ripping at his face right now. And I'm supposed to understand what the fuck that is? Maybe it's just some kind of Argentinian thing. I've seen crazy Argentinian Catholics, actually. I've seen them going down the street beating the shit out of themselves. I've seen them throw tomatoes at each other. I've seen them do all kinds of wacky shit. Okay? You people are a little bit fucking sadistic and loony. But anyway, it doesn't matter. What can I say? You can say you're an ad. You can just admit... You're a colossal asshole who's talking out of his colossal ass. 
<sighs> there is a better way to argue for rights. All right, and how do people do that? Again, show me, show me the example of the protest, right? The theater, the on the street protest theater, which I'm not for, by the way. I am a feminist, but I'm not for on the street protests ever for anything because I know it's just theater, it's just drama. As soon as you go on the street and get in people's face, all you're trying to do is create drama. And this. And this. You? Yes, it proves feminism is a bad idea because Argentinian man has bloody face. All of you who defend this type of shit or who look at it with sympathy, uh, again, uh, no. All of you who, so you're saying to me, all of you who know that protests face-to-face, -face, generally speaking, will always include violence, show me a protest about any issue that matters where the two combatants are face-to-face -face, and show me one that happens without any indication of dangerous, violent tendencies or something. Show it to me. You know, where there aren't cops on horses and all kinds of other shit. Show me one where there isn't a ton of cops and all kinds of shit to prevent people from actually reaching across the barrier. Show me. Show me that. Or shut up. You're worthless. Worthless? Yes, but they burned the Pope in epigy. Yes, that was the other thing that offended him. They burned the Pope. And he didn't even know. This guy said, I don't know what the opinion of the Pope is on abortion. He actually said that. The guy actually said that. He doesn't know what the opinion of the Pope is on abortion. And you're just like, no, 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 no. Like there's any indication whatsoever that the average Catholic is at all prepared to have a Pope that's pro-abortion rights. Yeah, no, they're not even close to ready for that dick to be up their ass. <laughs> yeah, not even close. Uh, fuck. That, you're, you're a silly person. So maybe I'll watch some more of your videos and see if they're all so funny. So anyway, until next time. See what the next subject is. Maybe it'll be funny too. Yeah, this is pretty funny. Desperate little men and their desperate little... <laughs>